<laughs> I'm Nathaniel Glockler. I'm a cultural anthropologist, and today we're speaking with Mike Alvarado from Going Evergreen about mobilizing social capital to produce cultural and ecological profit. I'm Mike Alvarado. I'm one of the founders of this. Uh, it's now a nonprofit called Going Evergreen. When people ask us what's our business model, we don't have a traditional model in the sense that we're trying to be, you know, uh, a profit generating enterprise. However, what, it, what we really do become is actually pretty profitable in a social way. One of the things about, you know, what we, we're doing is trying to be an honest broker of information. One of the things that we have is a threefold view on sustainability, and the three dimensions are environmental, economic, and social. We began to realize that we had a real organic capability to not only add substance, add positive direction, make sure that we were going to get a good return on investment, because we got to know that we can change the lives of students, change their parents' decisions about products or careers, and we needed to be able to say, our community is going to be better. Make sure you're competent, make sure that you've earned your right at the table, and then Having done that, make sure that you've got a clear objective. If you're thinking about, you know, a movement, an initiative like this, you're going to have to answer the question, why is there a good value for the money invested? Why is it worth the investment by these partners? And they're really going to have to step up, which is quite often an area where you find a lot of weakness in the argument. The real value is to say, how do I integrate technologies together so you have a sustainable, both economically and also technically, solution over time. But the fact that we've been able to do this virtually without any capital and get the outcomes that we've done, uh, I think is, you know, that's pretty impressive. The answers are within people. What you need is a structure to get that out of you. You have to document in a way that you intend for people to widely share it, widely add to it, and it's going to stand the test of the technical experts who would look at it and say, that's good information. And that's why social networking and media works really well, because the co-creation means that we all have that role in building the outcome. And there's nothing that can be achieved without that co-ownership. A lot of time, institutions seem scary. But you actually, if you listen, will hear from them how you can work together. We looked at our partners, and we said, we know you have needs. What needs can you achieve through working with Going Ever? You've got to show that you can last, that you've got the way to make the money. People want to have relatively quick answers, but see, sustainability is a long-term proposition. So if you want to have a sustainable career, how are you continually learning and adapting to your environment? In the end, it also gives everyone a great deal of interest in a positive outcome. Because we don't own the outcome, they own the outcome, and some of the outcomes that are achieved are very durable because they're multi-generational. And we also focus on training the teachers, training the parents, training the students to be you know, self-learners. We want them to be in the community because we want those students to go out into communities, or we want them to say, hey, come and help me with this. Mm -hmm. We are going to break down, we think, a whole bunch of barriers. But again, it's not we. We're going to give a mechanism that people can then use to go and, and build. Because they're problem solvers, they're innovators, and they can see the results. They can actually see it. And that's something that is, I mean, it's priceless.